Good evening, ma'am. Please, may we meet you? Good evening. My name is Chima Bode Akiwande. I'm one of the um, organizers extraordinary for the program, Singles Connect, or basically the platform. Now, what informed this uh, platform, Singles Connect? Um, is born out of a passion, passion to make sure that um, singles have the right direction as regards the decisions they want to make in terms of choosing a life partner or entering into any form of relationship. Of course, it can be business relationship, but we've come to realize that um, at times, because singles matured for that matter, are busy in their work environment or carrying out their businesses, they don't find a conducive environment to even find who. They will say, oh, so how are you doing, checking it out or having a date? So we decided to set up this organization, have singles come together, meet, have the platform of the one-on-one, -on -one, in as much as we have our blog, we have a Facebook, we have where we handle the counselings and all that. But this platform is giving them that conducive environment to know that we are of like minds, we can interact, talk about business, exchange our contacts, and of course, talk about marriage. And there has been testimonials ever since we started. For this year, for example, we have two, two people that are married already. We have four couples and all that. So that's basically what Singles Connect is all about. How long has Singles Connect been on? Single Connect has been in existence in as much as myself and my husband has been into singles um, stuff for like 10, 15 years. But Singles Connect itself, I would say, is about four years old. Then having the event, the one-on-one -on -one that we hold now is running for two years. We've done all couples and um, the last one we had was tagged truth be told and by the name, of course, you understand what we must have discussed. That it was just saying the truth as it is. Finally, what are your expectations for today's event? Yeah, basically my expectation is positive. Let me start from there. Positive in the sense that today we are discussing battle of the exes. And why that? We've realized that a couple of people are still single. They are of marriageable age. They are supposed to move ahead even with their career and all that. But for reasons of experiences they've had in past relationships, they are being held down. They are being held with certain mates, you know, that guys are this, ladies are this. So we want to deal extensively about the issues that has to do with ex-relationship, dissect it to a large extent, and by the time people are living here, they are freed of their past. They have enough air to move along. The, 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 the world is filled with millions of people that are single with positive intentions and positive concept. So by the time they live here today, they know that there is still a fresh air and opportunity for them to meet another one who is fantastic and can complement their lives. My, my name is Flora, Flora Onodema. And um, I like to say that I'm a believer. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> no, I'm a believer in the sense that um, I am a testimonial to all that Singles Connect stands for. Basically, Singles Connect is a forum that was created for young adults, 28 years and above, people who are matured in mind and matured physically as well, ready for marriage, ready to mingle, more or less. Um, it was created for young business people, people who work as well, you know, who do not really have the time due to their schedule and all, to meet with people, to network, to share broad minds, get to meet people and all. That's the reason we created or we um, put together this forum. And the, our first event, which was Aprons and the Suitcase, was done last year, in 2012. And we had the following event, truth be told. I've seen a few faces here that were there that attended the program, so at least you can testify to the fact that, you know, this is the place to be on a beautiful Sunday, sorry, Saturday afternoon, like this. Um, once again, please give yourself a round of applause. What we want to talk about today is Battle of the Exes. Why that? I was reading interesting comments from Linda Cage's blog. There's something peculiar about bloggers. The serious ones don't blog the rubbish. They really they pick the information and they make good use of it. The ones that are not, because it's a public place, it's a digital platform, we say what they want to say. People that want to use the information will read it and pick what they want. But it was quite interesting and engaging for me. Why do we want to talk about Battle of the Exes? We believe that it comes a time in your life you need to move on. Most people have past, you've had relationships and all that. We will still deal with it, we will still um, 
dig a little bit deeper. But what we want to do now is on each of your table, there is a top bubble cut out sheet of paper that has a discussion. Something like this, but in different shapes. So maybe I'll give you this one. How long must that fit there? They are all different um, issues that we want you to look at and first of all discuss it. Then we will talk about it. Each table will tell us what their opinion is. They are real life issues, they are real life discussions that we want you to look at. So first of all, we're going to do the table discussion. Please keep it real. Some people are here because they have expectations, they want to learn, they want to let go. But my expectation for this meeting is that after today, you leave a new person, you start a new name. The world is, we are, we are in millions. And when I see people, they are held down, bound by their past. It's, I mean, I feel very, very sad about it. So let's talk about what are those issues? What is it that your ex has done that is not worth forgiving? The worst that can happen is that as a, as a lady, I want to get married and the night that is before my wedding, I'll find my husband sleeping with my best friend. That's the worst. Or someone comes to say I'm pregnant. So what? Honestly, so what? If you have that kind of mindset, so what? There have been cases, life issues. A woman was going, she was supposed to travel, she missed her flight. She got back home and met, she met her husband with his best friend on bed. So what? Yes. Paula White has said something in, in one of her teachings. So what? So at that point, you need to take it. What I'm saying that is these are worst case scenarios, but the issue is so what? We need to move on. There is this side of law that nobody can explain. And that is where some people believe that love is blind. And everybody is looking at, ah, you mean that this guy went back? But if you are here as a guy or as a lady and you can marry a guy or a lady that already has a child for someone else, then he also has the will and the power to forgive. Because that tells you that something happened for the baby to come. You understand? But the, twi the twist here is, for those ones, they might have reasons why they did not marry. There is a history to that, which is understandable. But this one is a relationship that is ongoing. So the decision honestly lies with you. I do not subscribe to any guy, any lady, making a decision out of the pressure of parents, out of the pressure of friends. Most of the time, they regret it. From Single Connect, please may we meet you. Hi, my name is Zunika Sali. And um, did you enjoy yourself today? Share with us the experience. I really enjoyed myself. It was really what I expected and even more. I'm so happy I came here. I really, really, really glad I came here. My name is Omolara Adini. Now, Omolara, can you share with us the experience at the end of this program? Okay, well, I enjoyed it. I was skeptical about coming, but... Um, I gained a lot from the various um, discussions and well, I get more, I got, um, most importantly, I got um, the fact that we should move on from our past relationship. And I think it was a very inspiring program. I really enjoyed it. I'm Mrs. Onyeka Martin Arjuna. Now tell us about Single Connect. You're married now, but uh, you're part of this program. What is it about Single Connect that uh, you're involved or excites you? Okay, Singles Connect is a gathering where mature singles meet to mingle, interact, and of, of course, get to, you know, kick off a relationship. That's our goal, ultimately. It's a nice place to be. You're married already, so why, why are you here today? Well, <laughs> I happen to be one of the organizers of the program, and I started out as a single person, and in fact, when we started the program, I wasn't even engaged. I wasn't in a relationship. That was sometime early last year. Now I'm married. Oh, that's a really great testimony. When, when did you get married? I got married June this year. So from the Singles Connect, we have a very pretty young lady. And uh, she's effort. So uh, please, may we meet you? 
Okay, my name is Efetri Dooje. I'm a PR consultant. Okay, and uh, you're part of this Singles Connect event today. So share with us what you've learned and uh, the whole experience. Um, well, it was um, a very open um, um, event. We thank God for it. Um, I think it was thought-provoking and um, I, I enjoyed it. I'm happy that I was here. Um, one thing I did learn, especially with the Battle of the Exes segment, was forgiveness. And that is one thing I'll take away from this today. So I think the Singles Connect is a fantastic platform, especially for those of us that are business executives and I don't have the time. Um, we encourage more people to come on. Yeah. So networking is encouraged here. Opening up is encouraged. So I think it's a good one. Yeah.